Hello! So today I'm gonna show you how to make mushroom earrings from polymer clay. And let's get started! Okay, so I know I disappeared for more than a month, but I really have my plate full and I can't tell everything what I'm doing, but there is things which I can share with you. So basically, my last year in university, it was... I expected less than it is. So it's kind of time demanding and time consuming thing to do. I'm not saying I don't like it, but it's really, really challenging and I'm putting a lot of effort to that. So I think that videos will need to be a little bit less frequent. And from now I'm hoping to do it every... Oh, storm is coming. Ugh. Uh, yeah, what I was saying, e yes, about the videos, they're gonna be less frequent and I'm trying to make them every two weeks, at least one video, so please, please, please bear with me until I can tell you all the news what's going on with my life because I just can't tell you, I just can't, I just can't, okay, doesn't matter, whatever, let's just go and make those earrings and I just stop talking about my nonsenses. Okay, so should I say that I kneaded the clay very very well before and let it go through the pasta machine or you already know it? I'm absolutely sure you already know it. And what I'm doing now, I am using my brand new cookie cutters, not cookie cutters, clay cutters, which my husband made and trying to make some mushroom earrings. And if you want those cutters, I will leave a link below in the description so you can check it out in the Etsy shop. And other than that, I think I'll just show you how else I've done those cuties. And every time I'm doing new design, I'm not really liking to do a lot of it. I'm doing like two pairs of earrings or even one pair, just to see how it looks, see how it goes, how people like it, not like it. And that's why I am not doing masses at once for the very first time. It's just my preference. If you like to do that, do that. And now when I done it from the white clay, like actually light gray clay, I am pressing the same shapes out of the red clay. Why? You will see in a minute. And now I'm trying to remove those mushroom shapes from the glass very very carefully and I'm cutting the stems off. I'm very cruel, I know, but stems must be cut off if I want to do what I want to do. And once I'm lifting one, I am carefully placing onto the white mushroom the cap part and just trying to see how it's gonna look like. And I don't really know. I don't think it's a good idea. I think I need to bake the white parts first. So let's go to the oven. And now, when it's done, I can repeat the process. I can put the red caps on and wrap around so it sits very nicely and looks more realistic. Cutting the excess of the back. And honestly, I'm not too worried how the back looks at this point because, well, it's back and it's not gonna be seen anyways. You shouldn't be completely neglecting that because it's still nice to have both parts nice but it's not as important anyways i'm repeating the same process for all four mushrooms i have and i will put them in the oven again but before they go to the oven again well i wanted to ask you something can you subscribe for this channel and press that thumbs up button and notification bell so you know every time I am uploading. If you like content like this, if you would like to learn more about clay, about art, about crafts, I think I can give you some insights of that. So don't hesitate to press that subscribe button. And also I forgot to share that before we go, we put things in the oven, we need to add some white dots on those mushrooms because they're gonna be only cuter because of that. So I rolled a very very slim snake and I'm chopping tiny 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 parts from it just to make those little little dots and oh I'm repeating words so much I don't know why and yeah I'm just making balls and placing them on top and once it's placed, I'm, I don't like to squish them very hard so it has some texture on it. I think it will look a little bit more interesting. And yeah, I'm covering all red caps of the mushrooms with dots and then they can go to the oven finally. Actually, 
actually I forgot to film the very ending process of this video so after they came out of the oven I will cover them in UV resin and glue the post on the other side of the earrings so they can become an actual stud earrings so that's very simple I showed that many many times before if you if it's the first time you're seeing this video just go to any earring video and you will see how I'm doing that exactly and yeah I think that's all and that's the earrings yeah they are very very cute I can't wait someone to try them on and so thank you very much for watching I really hope you understand everything I said it was clear enough and see you next time then bye Thank you.